from Car and Driver Magazine. It's the latest from the Ford Special Vehicle Team, the SVT Mustang. And this year with more horses, 390 in all. Then a flashback to the 30s and Chrysler's idea for a safer car. The DeSoto Airflow is classic car and driver. And then it's a test of Land Rover's light duty SUV, the Freelander. Those stories and more in this edition of Car and Driver. Here they are, the latest from SVT, the 2003 Cobras, muscled up with a 70 horsepower increase over last year. It's officially 390 horses now in Ford's original pony car, and to go with it, remarkable handling from the aging Mustang platform. The new Cobra is about to be out on the streets and at the track as the high-performance bargain of the year. Forget it, the debates are over. Whatever your pony car loyalties may be, the 2003 Cobra and the Mustang faithful who will drive it win, period. End of discussion. This ends all the debates. This car was intended to come to hit the market, uh, give the customers everything they've been uh, clamoring for for some time now, and on the competitive front, just end the debate. Terminate the discussions. What we have here is Corvette level performance, way past Camaro, zero to 60 in four five, and a 12 second quarter mile at 111 miles per hour, actually quicker than the Corvette Coupe. Incredible. But in a way, the power solution was obvious. With SVT's experience with the 385 horse Lightning, thanks to the Eaton blower on that V8. But that wasn't the first idea for the new Cobra. Our first venture into, the, into this Cobra was to try to do it naturally aspirated, okay? And we just didn't get the performance kick that we were expecting, okay? The guy spent a lot of time and effort on it. And then we said, you know, look, the, the Lightning has been proving over and over and over again that you get great drivability, okay? Uh, sparkling performance and great durability and reliability. Why fool around? So they strapped the same Eaton blower on top of the Cobra's 4.6 liter V8 to get official numbers of 390 horses, 390 pound feet of torque. But while the same guys still sign each engine they assemble at the Romeo plant, this is not at all the same engine as before. There are new heads with new profiles for the dual overhead cams and new port contours for higher airflow. The block is now iron for durability and the dished out pistons on top of the manly H-beam forged rods help reduce the compression ratio to 8.5 to 1 to handle up to 8 pounds of boost that blows down through the water to air intercooler in the valley. Now run the exhaust through high flow cats and out through a stainless steel dual system and run the power to the rear through a Tremec T56 six speed got action with more than 300 pound-feet of torque already on the job at just 1,500 RPM. But tire shredding acceleration is only one dimension of the new Cobra. SVT has also worked a significant miracle with the handling. There's a new subframe for the independent rear suspension and new bushings and spring rates and revised geometry to reduce roll steer. And SVT specifies Bilstein shocks all around. All of that is true for the convertible. But the hot hand on the track is the coupe, which is both lighter and has stiffer spring rates on all corners. Combined with a considerable stick of 17-inch 40 series Goodyear Eagle F1 tires on new 9-inch wide mags, the Cobra now records 0.9 Gs on the skid pad. And in spite of 160 new pounds on the front from the iron block and the supercharger, the SVT Wizards have engineered great handling into the aging Mustang platform that's been essentially unchanged since 1979. The new Snake loves the corners rotating with complete control, even with 56% of the weight on the front tires. And SVT has also sent the brakes to do the job, 
13-inch vented Brembos in front, grabbed by twin piston calipers that get us 70 to 0 in 182 feet. Inside, a Cobra owner is treated to the traditional Mustang twin cowl design with SVT white face gauges, but with a boost gauge now upper right. The twin buckets are supportive and grippy with suede cloth center sections between the leather bolsters. The rear seats are what they have always been, room for kids when necessary. But everybody is comfortable with standard air and well entertained with the 460 watt stereo with in-dash CD changer included. The comforts you will enjoy when you're in an easy going mood just cruising and running errands. And we like the fact that this is now like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde car. I can go to church in the morning, right? Pick up milk on the way home, and then go right to the racetrack and kick some butt. Of course, we like Mr. Hyde best. And we like the price of all that performance for the convertible. $38,995, fully equipped. And less than that for the quicker coupe. $34,750, to own the performance that everywhere else costs more like... 50 mark. The 600 certified SBT dealers across the country will have about 12,000 Cobras to sell this year. And that should not be a problem. With the base price under 35,000, there's no question the 2003 Cobra has to be the all-time high-performance bargain.